Hello everyone. Today we are going to give a presentation about social media influences and endorsement. Our team has four members. My name is Zi Hang Cao, and the other three members are David, Mike, and Fata. Our presentation mainly includes four parts, and it takes about 30 minutes. I will be the first one to give an introduction of social media influencers and the relationship between their impact and brands. David will be the next one to give some personal examples related to his understanding of online influencers' endorsement effectiveness. Mike is the third one to give some analysis of academic reading in terms of this topic. Well, Fata will be the last one to promote a New Zealand product and give the conclusion. First of all, let's begin from the introduction of social media influencers. Do you know what are social media influencers? According to Shen and his workmate, social media influencers refer to those individuals who have a group of social followers, and they are considered as self-made micro-celebrities. Danish and Dassler explain that social media influencers are a kind of opinion leaders who engage in self-presentation on online platforms by showing their personal images and uh, everyday lives to attract attention of their followers. By contrast, Hermand and his workmates defend social media influencers as individuals who have uh, actively use their social media accounts and share their views in a certain topic. In journal, there are some features of social media influencers. The first one is that produce interesting content and post it on social media platforms. Second, they are content interesting, attractive, they use have a large number of followers and fans. For example, the famous YouTuber PewDiePie has 110 million global followers. Can you give another example of an influencer who has a lot of followers? Well, let's move on to the third point. Social media influencers are powerful opinion leaders and they can influence their followers on evaluating consumer products and making purchase intention. Therefore, it is clear that social media influencers have a great impact on affecting their followers and shape their opinions. However, not all influencers can be successful in endorsement. According to Brooke, influencers should have many qualities in endorsing products. First, they need to be reliable. They should be open and honest, so the followers will listen to them. Second, they also need to have knowledge in their field. They own and provide high quality and valuable information and skills based on experience and research. Third, they are willing to help. Influencers have passion to offer useful information to help others solve problems, so their followers can keep interested and come back. First, they need to be good communicators. They can expand their social circles with the help of social media, which makes them more likely to communicate about brands online than the average users. In terms of current situation of social media influencers endorsement, Barker said, in 2020, the global reach of influencer marketing grew by 57%. According to a survey, 21% of shoppers turn to social media for help before buying a product. 
In another survey, this rate is even higher, and it shows 31% of shoppers listen to influencers' recommendations. So, it seems social media influencers play an important role in product endorsement and sales. However, a company or brand cannot find social media influencers to endorse its products randomly, because not all influencers fit the product. Do you know what are the factors the company should consider when it tries to fit its product to a social media influencer? First of all, companies need to understand their target consumers. They need to make sure their target consumers are the same as influencers' followers. This makes sure their products are shown the relevant consumers. In order to find the right influencers, for its product, a company needs to first evaluate influencers. The number of followers and the influencers' engagement needs to be checked to make sure they do have a great influential power. Secondly, the influencers' personality needs to align with the brand values. This will make the content truly appealing and relevant to the target consumers. Thirdly, the niche of influencers also needs to match the product or brand. For example, if a company sells smartphones, it is better to find influencers related to technology rather than the beauty bloggers. To sum up, social media influencers are powerful opinion leaders in endorsement. However, they should have some necessary quality to endorse a brand, including being reliable, knowledgeable, willing to help, and good at communication. Companies need to study both target consumers and influencers if wanting to fit their brand and product to right influencers. They need to consider influencers' influential power, personality as well as their niche. Thank you for watching my presentation. And now, welcome David to give some personal examples. Uh, hi guys, my name is Shang Wei Mai and I'm from China. Today I will be presenting a selection of good and bad samples of social media influencers based on my own personal preferences. This will hopefully highlight why some social media influencers are more effective than others. I'll go on to the next page. Yeah, the first example of social media influencers that I like is Zach King. One of the reasons that I like his content is because it is based around interesting technological and filmmaking tricks that he used to create digital magic tricks. His content is also most of the time based around short and entertaining video, which is helpful when you have a short attention span. In terms of his main social media platforms, He's currently most active on YouTube, I think. Yeah, where his unique video helps him helps make him very popular. I got the third page. Another good example of social media influencers that I like is Lily Sign. She's a YouTube YouTube influencer that began her career based around her strong personalities. This is one of the main reasons that she has been very effective as an influencer since her personality can grab attention and give her video a high level of authenticity. Therefore, a key factor in successful social media influencers from my perspective from my perspective is their ability to engage users based on their personality. Uh, next page. 
Another example of good social media influencers is Andrew Bachelor, who is a social media influencer that used to be popular on Vine, but move on, move to YouTube. His premier media that he posts online is short videos that use more controversial comedy such as racial stereotypes. However, these short videos appear to short attention spans and their controversial comedy attracts attention. Alright, the next page. In terms of social medias that I do not like, one of uh, one example is the social media influencer named Jake Paul. One of the issues that I found with his content is that he is primarily racing to popularity based on controversies and negative behaviors on social media. Additionally, although he targets his content to young audience, he used many he used many metro themes that might be considered inappropriate. His main platform is YouTube, but he has const constantly expanded into other areas as well. All right, another bad example of social media influencers is this one here, who named Natalie. She's a bad example that I also do not like as she, she has shown herself to be very insensitive to other people's feelings and how some image can be interpreted. For example, um, using the image here on the PPT, she compared her life to rice workers in disadvantaged environments, which draws a l which draw lots of citizens from a wide range of popular online uh, of people online. This also is high high of her lack of self awareness. Alright, another example of social media influencers that I do not like is this couple. Kelly and Cody, which are Instagram social media influencers take large risks in order to get attention on social media. The thing that I do not like about them is that they are primarily getting attention from risk acts that can easily inspire other people to copy them. Risk ads that can easily inspire other people to copy them, which is common on social media. This can lead to dangerous ads become popular because of them. Alright, uh, so moving on to the next page. After looking at these examples, I think it is possible to come to some basic conclusions on what makes social media influence effects. Uh, firstly, it is their level of authenticity because people naturally train toward influencers that display a high level of authenticity that makes them feel more and real and relatable. Uh, secondly, it is, uh, it is their strong personalities as it helps to give people a strong emotional connection to the influences. Right, so next page. We can also come to some conclusions about what makes social media influences effective. Firstly, one of the problems in some of influences is insensitive insensitive practices because influencers that are that are disconnected from normal society are portrayed are portrayed in a negative light. This can negative this can negatively negative negative negatively impact not only themselves but also the people that are associated with. Secondly Dangerous ads can also be considered something that makes that makes social media influencers ineffective because while dangerous stunts can generate short term short term attention, 
they lead to they lead to cause of concern and rejections in especially if other follows their dangerous stunt and get harmed. Uh, I, yeah, so thank you guys. That's the end of my presentations. Bye. Hello everyone, my name is Mike. Today I'm going to talk about the social media influencer marketing. So what is a social media influencer? Have you ever heard of them? Are you following one of them? According to Yen's article, social media influencers are a group of people who create and upload content on social media platforms. Some of them have attracted thousands of followers and become the icon of the pop culture. Recent studies found that consumers have more confidence in social media influencers than traditional celebrities. In this situation, it is very popular for brands to build a partnership with a social media influencer in order to promote products with, their, with the help of their attraction. <coughs> And this is the social media influencer marketing. Look at these influencers on the picture. They are they were promoting the products uh, via Taobao's uh, live streaming, and millions of people were watching. For me personally, I have experience of getting advice from an influencer. For example, I love playing video games, so when I need some new gaming device, I will check out those products that are recommended by a gaming influencer. Like the reading said, this is because I trust uh, their expertise in games, as they have played games for thousands of hours and own a mass of gaming device. So I believe their, their reviews on gaming device products are fair and objective. So what is the advantage of using an influencer endorsement? Firstly, brand can quickly and precisely reach their target consumers through an influencer. For example, gaming industry can quickly reach players through an gaming influencer. Secondly, consumers are relying on the advice from a key opening opinion leader, just like my own example mentioned before. Thirdly, um, influencers could help some new or small brand to improve their awareness due to the endorsement fee for a celebrity could be unaffordable. Now let's have a look at the disadvantage. In these two years, there were many influencers uh, involved in or caused um, and scandal events. The image of a brand is linked to the link up with their endorser. Therefore, um, when people when people are condemning those uh, nauseous influencers, the image of the brand will be will be harmed as well. Uh, Yan Shan's uh, article gave an example of uh, Logan Paul, a famous YouTuber who has 15 million subscribers, uh, shot a vlog about looking for bodies in the suicide forest in Japan. It caused a controversy in global wide immediately after Logan uploaded that, vi that video. Subsequently, YouTube has cancelled um, his advi advertising revenue for his disrespectful behavior. If you are a manager of a brand, you do, do, you do not want to col collaborate with such immor immoral person, don't you? What will the social media influencer marketing be like in future for consumers? The social media influencer marketing are taking the advantage of people's conformity. Imagine if someone purchased a product that endorsed by a social media influencer, 
and share it on social media platform, he or she will probably receive a lot of likes. Then someone else, uh, else who also want to receive a lot of likes will probably do the same thing. Finally, people are going to buy more and more things that they do actually do not need. Uh, as such, brand will put most of their budget on promoting and uh, marketing rather than developing. Economists call this bad money drives out good money. Okay, what about the future for the business? In recent years, there the virtual influencer industry is rising in Asia. There is a software could make an animated avatar's motion and the mouse move like the people behind the screen through a webcam. As the equipment become affo- became affordable, those people who do not want to want to appear in public can also get a get an opportunity to become an influencer. So it is not surprising to see some companies create their own virtual character as their brand communicator. There are many advantages of uh, you for using an article endorser. First, creating a virtual character costs much less than endorsement fee for an for an idol or an influencer. Secondly, a virtual character could be stable and long last endorser of the brand. And the biggest advantage for um, for brand is that virtual character can never do something that uh, harm harm the image of the brand. In fact, some brands in China already have uh, launched their virtual endorser. Therefore, I think the influence marketing will still be the future trend, but the aspect may be changed with the times and the technology developing. And that's all for today. Thank you for listening. Kia ora and talofa everyone. My name is Alfata Ayesi and I am going to present you the last part of our group presentation, which is promoting a New Zealand product or services. As you look at the first slide here, I have selected um, three um, major things that um, New Zealand are most famous of. I have selected um, the sheep, like farming, the manuka honey, and most of the beautiful places that tourism are so attractive here in New Zealand. I have selected Mount Cook, but there's heaps and other places here you can visit. I have um, selected four um, selling methods that will get you ahead in a business or those ideas that will promote your business. If you are selling a product, so uh, these are the four methods or strategies that you should follow. And remember and keep in mind that it is not about you, it is about um, your customers. The first uh, strategy I am going to talk about is knowing your customers intimately, meaning that every business owner should know and understand its customers very well. To get ahead, you want to find out what your customers hopes what their fears, what their dreams, what their frustrations and their aspirations are. When you get a good idea of how they feel, and then you should keep asking on a regular basis. If you skip these steps, your customers will always ask you, do you even or even care about me? Remember what I have said before, it's not about you, it's about your customers. The most Powerful words are the words that prospect speaks in his or her own heart. Secondly, it's about always speak from the perspective 
and needs of your prospect. Meaning that this is the second tip that I had to do with the way that you structure your sales copy, your sales calls and approach. Many businesses sell their products by explaining why they are great. They focus on why they are better than their competition and why they think you should buy from them. But from a customer perspective, none of these reasons may be valid. Oftentimes, the reasons that your customer buys from you are completely different. So by looking at the process and your copy from your prospect point of view, you will be able to capture more leads and close more sales. Thirdly, sell to the right list. Sell to the right list. Least are the unusing heroes, the unsung heroes in most marketing campaigns. Since the start of your business, you have likely accumulated a list of prospects. Some are good and some are not. Some may be interested in a certain product or service while others are no interest in that particular product at all. Some need more information before they complete or buying the product from you. And some they will wait until their situation changes before they make any decisions. And how you sell to each bucket of prospects can make a huge difference in your bottom line. So don't be afraid to segment your marketing message to match the needs of your prospects. Fourthly, map out your sales pipeline and systemize your follow-up efforts. Meaning that this is another important element of selling process in your sales pipeline. This is the sales process you take your customers through from the point they are identified as leads and started in the front end of your sales process to the point in time they become paying customers. After you take into consideration the above steps, the next step is to map it out and automate or system systemize the process as much as possible that you can handle your lead flow whether it's 20 new customers or 10 grand those four selling strategies is very helpful to promote a product over time you will learn more about your customers and this process and systems will naturally change over time to meet the needs of your prospects here are some of the personal um, examples that I have um, selected for some of the products here in the ceiling. I have selected the Manuka honey. And as you see from there, it's a, the pioneer and the trusted global leader in um, Manuka honey has launched its trans for umf Manuka honey range to consumers in China at the opening of Pambita Manuka honey natural world at a center in Shanghai. So it tells us that the product that um, New Zealand's are produce, it's been going worldwide. And we have seen that they open and they launch um, their business or having a partnership with China. Kamita Chief Marketing Officer Ben Shaw said, Kamita Manuka Honey Natural World showcased the beauty of remote New Zealand's landscape and the magic and uniqueness of our country, rare Manuka honey to Chinese consumers. My second uh, personal example here is um, a celebrity brand endorsement. Has anyone here know who the, the rugby team um, from uh, that those guys are representing? Oh, great. Yeah, that's All Blacks. It's a um, New Zealand uh, rugby team. A celebrity brand endorsement. Does anyone remember the, the those rugby teams? You have seen those are the most famous people in those um, team. And the literal meaning of this image is promoting of the weak bigs. It tells us if you want to stay fit, stay strong, and then we can eat with big and then we become those rugby um, members. They were very strong and and very fit. Um, this uh, slide here is um, shows your 
are sales techniques used by social media influencers. When you're promoting a product, you need to attract more people, more customers, and you need to get more followers. So here are some of the uh, techniques that I have selected that will help you to um, promote your products. First, you have to sync all available platforms that you use for your business. For example, if you use Facebook, Instagram, WeChat, um, or any other forms of social media. So you need to link together all those platforms. So whatever you post on Facebook should be appear in Insta Instagram and also appear on WeChat so that they were all linked together. And then you can have followers from Facebook, followers from Instagram, and also followers from WeChat. The other thing that you should do is to go live at least twice a week. Have some um, live session to attract um, more uh, participants. And then if you look at them, they're going on live with you and then you have to mention their name. Try to draw their attention to you and what you are trying to um, to explain or what you are trying to, to promote. Thirdly, you have to offer discounted pricing to followers. For example, you can have giveaways, um, uh, uh, presents. Like if you buy, if you if you buy uh, some product with the amount of one hundred tala, and then you can have a free voucher or you can have a free item uh, from your business. That will help your business grow. Fourthly, have to shout out like have a regular shout out to engage followers to encourage further participation. As I have mentioned before, have to. Um, we go through those platforms and see who are posting and then you acknowledge them like trying to say to impress them so that they can be attractive to your um, product and lastly but not the least you have to read the customers review on your pages you have to you need to know how they feel about your product you have to take their feedback and put it together and then from there you can make um more improvement from that from your product if you read the feedback from um your customers that your products it's very good and it's convenient and then it tells you that your product is good and it's improving and if you read some negative comments about your product and then you need to work from there and look what are the lapses of your product and you need to make it um, good and improve it To conclude my presentation, this is a way forward of um, what is happening of this world. I know everyone in this class know how things change when um, COVID-19 popped up in our life, eh? Have you seen the changes that this world has been facing due to COVID-19? Oh yes, I have seen a lot and a big change in our everyday life. COVID-19 drives our world crazy and everything is changed. In a way forward, we have seen that the year 2020 was a year of rapid growth for online shopping. More consumers are shopping from brands they see online. So it is more important now than ever to have a strong social media presence for every business. Even though there is a physical location, but there is a need to turn on a social media platform into another revenue stream and reach new audience to convince into loyal customers to purchase our products or services. Thank you for watching. Do you have any questions? If there's any questions, then I will wrap up this presentation. Thank you everyone for your time and we'll see you next time.